Yeah. Your, yeah, this one's good. This one's Fuego. This one is nice. This one is good. Hey, what up, what up? It's your boy LD on the microphone. Getting money. Hoes love me. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that's recorded. Yeah. It is? Yeah. You're... <laughs> Do not. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to have that as a drop. Oh, getting money. Bitches oh, love me. Bitches love me. Bitches love me. Did he fix the fucking... Yeah, it looks like he did. Look at Luke. Fixing all the stuff. Huh? You fixed all the, sh the, all, all the stuff there, Lukey? Look, we can see each other. Oh. Test, test. Does this mic work? Yeah, it works. Oh, cool. You little bitch. Okay. You little bitch of Maru. That seems very ni nice of you to say. You little fucking... Do you have anything else nice to say? No, nope, I just lost my headphones. Oh. Oh. Test, test. Test, test. One, two. Oh, there we go. Miggity Mike. What are y'all doing tonight? I have to go home and pack because I'm going to Portland tomorrow. Oh, flood my rolling. Told my bitch, let's go snorkeling out in Portland, trying to get in her organs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all know that song, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, cool. Hell yeah, dude. Right, cool. uh, the tidal wave. <laughs> that's my shit. Yeah, that's my guy right there. I fucks with Travi House. All right, let me stop because I feel, I sound like a dick rider right now. <laughs> you meet ride Trav all day. I love Trav. Trav is the <laughs> goat. Trav is Trav is this is my twenty. Uh, 10 Kanye West Like the way I loved Kanye When yeah. I was coming up Is the way I love Trav now Damn Days before rodeo It's good stuff mm -hmm. Wait the, Actually the timeline Kind of works Yeah What album is Travis About to be on <coughs> He came out with What his third studio album <coughs> This is uh, Yeah this is third This is third studio album yeah, Third yeah, studio true. album At Nike Making the heat uh -huh. What was Kanye on When he dropped The first couple Yeezys Mmm he was in between, so it was it was in between um, uh, 808s and, uh, and My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. Oh, so he was four and five, but Trav mm -hmm. on three. Yeah, because My Beautiful Dark was uh, 2010, and then uh, 808s was 2008. Okay. And yeah. then he's, the first set of Yeezys came on 2009. All right. Yeah, Travis Scott is Kanye's Boruto. <laughs> That's a reference only a couple people are going to get. They're going to get that, but it makes sense. <laughs> Uh, that is, that's that's kind of like that a lot. It's true. <laughs> Anime. Anime. Woo! We make references. Speaking of, I can't hear y'all. You, you can't, can't hear, hear us? us? No. Why not? Um, I don't know. Just like I can't hear shit. Hold on. But yeah, Luke, do your thing. Yeah, cause y'all can hear me. I can hear you perfect. I can't hear y'all. All I can hear is me. I can barely hear. I. It just sounds like I'm. Uh, I got muffled. I can't hear shit. Oh, now I can hear me talk. <laughs> I'm from the South, bitch. My name is Ti, and I make sure my daughter's hymen's intact. What the fuck, yo? <laughs> it's, it's, I, the, wait, it's hymen? What, what, what did you Heeman? think? What did you think it was? Hymen? No, I know it's the thing that it breaks if you're not a virgin anymore. Right. right, right. I mean, it breaks other ways. Yeah, yeah. it breaks other ways, too. Yeah, like, uh -huh. like girl, I, girls I know um, who used to like ride horses and shit. The shit broke when mm -hmm. they were riding a horse, if mm -hmm. you know what I mean. But <laughs> Becky's broke broke hers on a on a balance beam. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah. For, what from like a missed flip? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like nine years old. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, nine. Yeah, yeah. I could be wrong about the age, but it's some. She was young. That balance beam <laughs> gave it to <laughs> you. All this right. is episode 86. I don't, what a wild way to intro this. Just talking about Becky's hymen. Yo, we're nasty. <laughs> we're, Shout we're out to Becky. People. You're the shit, Beck. Yeah. Um, 86. Lawrence, what do you got? Wh who's our guy? I don't fucking know. Stop yeah, putting I, pressure on me, All man. right, well, don't Heinz, make this Heinz the theme. Ward. What are Ooh. we... Oh, okay. Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward's good. What are we going to do after 100? I don't know. I don't know. We're just... I don't know, man. We'll figure it out. Let's just let's just get to a hundred. <laughs> let's get to 100. no. It's ten point oh. So yeah. then we just go to ten. <laughs> yeah, Heinz Ward, James Lofton. There's a there's a few dudes. Number, number eighty six. Mm -hmm. Eighty six. Oh wait. Baby. While we're still, we gotta fix the frame on that on Lawrence. Lawrence? Yeah. 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 All right. Let's fix let's fix Lawrence's frame. Yeah. Let's fix the frame on Lawrence. We're having a real slow start. 
I don't know if I'll keep any of this. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this is my guy right there. Look at him. Hazy to me, man. Well, not that close. Not that close, bro. Come on, man. I don't want people. To I don't know if you can hear us. Oh, wait. Well, yeah, it's just a U cam. Oh, it's just a me cam. <laughs> it's just a U. <laughs> Look, it's just the Lawrence cam. Look at him. Ah. Look at him. What are you? Now you're just like. Now you're just playing with it. It's not your, it's not your dick, dude. Leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's good. Two minutes of fire content. I'm going to have to delete all this. You will not do any of the sorts. <laughs> I might. We already introed the show. <laughs> <laughs> what a slow start. <laughs> uh, as you guys already know, my name is Chris Cheney. To my right, we have Luke Trevisi. Yes. To my front, fucking playing with himself, pause, <laughs> is Lawrence Deloach, guys. This is the Sub Podcast. This is the Sub Podcast. Let's just get this out of the way at first. Go on the Discord right now. If you're not on the Discord, sign up. Yeah. Fucking get in there. Start posting your fits. And, and start fucking talking to all the f other fans of this podcast. Yeah, We've got yeah, a good yeah. group in there. I want you guys to get in there and uh, conversate. Do you know things about uh, Easy 500s? People have questions, and they need answers. Like what? What's the question? Uh, somebody was asking about how the how the Yeezys fit, how the 500s fit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out. Shout out Phil. Shout out Phil. Phil Swift. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, what do you got? Uh, what do you mean? I'm just asking. In general, I don't have shit. Man. Hold up, hold up. I'm seeing this this list of topics today. Kim K reveals she part part owns Yeezy. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's what a marriage is, dog. Yeah. She owns part of them. Well, no, and she's also trying to start a law firm. Oh yeah, no, I know about that. My mom <laughs> was watching a documentary on Kim because, <laughs> of course, that's what she would do. And she's like, she's an inspiration. I was like, ma, isn't uh, it kind of weird that like the the female version of Kanye is his was, wife yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah like the way that guys like talk about because there's really four schools of this mm -hmm. this it's like you're pro kanye uh -huh. or you're anti kanye, anti -Kanye right. or you're pro kim or you're anti kim right mm -hmm. and all the people that are pro kanye and pro kim understand why people aren't on board and are anti kim yay yeah so it's very funny how the, they're like they you know, picking yeah. up what I'm putting down here. I'm picking up what you're putting. Smell what I'm stepping in. I'm smelling what you're stepping in. Yeah, you filming what I'm fucking. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling it. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> That's sick, guys. That's <laughs> sick. <laughs> Hell yeah. But anyway, here we are, guys. What do you guys want to cover first? What do you guys want to talk about? Um, Anything in particular? Uh, <laughs> oh boy, Adidas this is third quarter. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a rough one. Oh, oh this is gonna boy, be a good one. no, 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 Don't don't go into it with don't this attitude. Yeah, you got a bad attitude. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm I'm already, guys. I'm excited. I was, oh, let's start out. Let's start out by talking about this. This is something that I think our listeners need to hear. Uh, growing up in New York, um, if you were into fashion uh, in the outer boroughs, you know, the mm -hmm. Bronx, Brooklyn, you went to like Queens. Dr. J, Queens, you went to <laughs> Dr. J's or Jimmy Jazz, yep. or S and D's. And then mm -hmm. as you started, you know, like getting a little bit of money, you would go to places like, you know, Saks and, and Bloomingdale. And, uh -huh. and then as you, you know, continue to still get a little bit of money, you started going to Barney's. Right. And recently Barney's uh, filed for what bankruptcy, bankruptcy yeah. and mm -hmm. they're closing their stores. Do you know what chapter they filed? Uh, Chris, why the fuck do you always do this to me? Chapter 69. <laughs> Hell yeah, he, he, sick, Is that what dude. you want? Chris is like, what chapter they filed? Like, well, no, because uh, that matters. Well, let's see, because they were acquired uh, oh. to, to my, uh, by, uh, by Saks Fifth Ave. So now they're going to be like, oh. so it's like a group that, I don't know if it's Saks Fifth Ave, that's not who acquired them, but they're like Barney's. They're under the, the same, same umbrella. umbrella. Yeah, yeah umbrella so let's, okay. so, uh, let's kind of, let's start it off with this, because I think this was a, uh, this was a. Uh, it was very intriguing to me uh, because I, I went in the Barney's, uh, the one on 60th in Madison, the one in you Manhattan. had to plug at. Yeah. No, I don't have a plug in, in Barney's. I never had a plug yeah, in. Yeah, you had that chick that was. I had a plug at Nordstrom. Oh, that's it's right. Different. That is up, very Chris. different. No, that is correct. I am wrong. <laughs> so, um, so basically, um, you know, um, I went in there because you know, I, I just remember. I remember purchasing. My first pair of Louboutins, like, you know, years, almost 10 years ago Ooh. at Barney's. And I remember, you know, having a Barney's card, credit card. And I remember, like, you know, and just me being like, God damn, I shop at Barney's, you know. And then I remember then Barney started going through the whole, you know, they had, like, a black eye because they were, like, racially pro profiling young African-American men. Right, yeah. And um, I remember they took a hit on that. 
but I always just remember going to Barney's, like, because, you know, you would, that was, like, the place you would go. And you yeah. would just see, like, you know, you would see a wide range of whether it was old white people or you would see, like, hood dudes who, you know, sell drugs or rap. But spending yeah. their money, you know, and it was like a, yep. a place where people would all come together. And it's it was a community. It was a, in a sense, <laughs> not a. Com- I mean, you know, <laughs> I enjoy going to bars because I used to like take a shit in, in the bathroom. That's they what have, you do at bars. Of course, yeah, they have a really nice have bathroom. To. Bloomingdale's has the one on Fifth Avenue. Very nice bathroom. And um, hell yeah, yeah. Very yeah. Nice. And it's uh, it's kind of sad. It's not sad to see it go, but it is. It's like it just goes to show you that I think the t- how much the times are changing now. Whereas. It's no longer uh, consumers going direct to a store and purchasing. It is now everything. A lot of things are just online. Yeah. The whole, uh, I mean, a lot of life is just going to turn into that. Everyone's trying to get rid of their brick and mortar shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 I mean, all right. So I'm sorry if I'm going to come with an uninformed uh, question, but I know, Mm -hmm. I know they did it. I think it was in Long Beach at first. Didn't Nike have a store where it was mostly robots that were running the store? They call it like Nike Plus something. Oh, I think oh, even now, oh. like they're just trying to get rid of. Everybody's trying to get rid of every, like, mm-hmm. in person retail experience, and they're trying to just have more of an electronic, like, Re- yeah. Because even if like all you have to pay is the rent, and you have like the self checkout things or whatever, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. like just not having to pay for the human part of the store is like, so okay. huge cut. So let's talk about, so the it says here uh, in a New York Times article that Barney's was uh, sold in two parts in a $271 million deal. Uh, the intellectual property went to the licensing firm uh, Authentic Brands Group, while its assets including- Oh, Authentic Brands Group. Yeah, they have yeah. um They have the Muhammad Ali, they have Shaq, they have a bunch of stuff. Okay, yeah, that's a weird acquired for them. So and then the assets including like shoes, tuxedos were acquired by, were bought by B. Riley. So, uh, so basically, authentic brands, uh, their plans for the brand include licensing, 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 don't you have a college degree? I have a motherfucking college degree, <laughs> uh-huh. a licensing, license, licensing, yeah, licensing, okay. Sin. Li- yeah. Yeah. <laughs> licensing, 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 <laughs> They they're gonna basically uh, <laughs> you're like saying lightning with a lisp. They're like giving they're, they're basically giving the name out to sex. <laughs> they, uh, so so they're saying that uh, that they're uh, they're gonna they might operate stores named Barney's in the future. But um, so right now, I went in there and they're uh, they're doing five uh, percent off for you know all yeah. this stuff. And obviously that's five five percent. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. Well, yeah, I mean, it's the, begin- a, uh, yeah. it's the beginning of a liquidation, right? Okay, so they're I not gonna you. they're not gonna start off the bat like, "Hey, motherfuckers, here's ninety two percent off. <laughs> Take what you want, bitches." Nah, they're gonna start, you know, uh, and, and all I the s- good shit's gonna go after like the fifteen percent mark, you know, so, and then you find like a gem or two. Yeah, there you go. So basically, like a Chloe bag, you know, mm-hmm. uh, that retails at around seventeen hundred dollars. You're you're getting you know eighty five dollars off. So. I mean, once, yeah. I mean, yeah. for items that rarely may go on sale, or right. you know, I mean, if you're really, if you want to play the game of chicken with Barney's, because they're like willing to play this game of chicken with customers, they said up until February, so they want the oh, majority shit. of their okay. shit out, obviously by December. That's what they mm-hmm. want. Yeah, but oh, dude, <clears throat> Black Friday in there is gonna be nuts. I was gonna say, yeah, Black Friday. Holy be shit! Yeah. Which is, which is so crazy because we've we've come accustomed to Black Friday already being insane right. yeah. with some of these deals that you get online. Yeah, and Cyber Monday. I, and then you have, well, you have the online Black Friday, and then you also have Cyber, yeah. Cyber Monday. But um, to see like a store like Barney's, uh, and and you go in there and it's gonna yeah. look like a a ghost town. People are just gonna be running through shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really it's it's interesting. It just goes to show like to me like how. Uh, I don't know if Barney's wasn't able to keep up with the times, but you also have to realize, and and this is just not, you know, New York. We're just not going to say New York because New York is such a bubble. But in that area, you know, Barney's on 60th and Madison. Right. Down the street, you have uh, you have Saks Fifth Avenue. And then, you know, and then down the street, you also have Nordstrom. And mm-hmm. then you have uh, Berg, Bergdorf Goodman. You have all mm-hmm. these stores in that area. And Barney's is just, you know, it's, it just goes to show you how, like you said, like online is just fucking it's, the game up, it's bro. It's killing it right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Black Friday is coming up. Does anybody have anything that they're trying to get for Black Friday? 
No. No? No, not in particular. Uh-huh. No. No, anything? I don't I don't really um I don't really go crazy for Black Friday. I, right. I do a lot sometimes <laughs> I, I'll be honest with you, uh, because I, I love like John Elliott. The, yeah. Like he has pretty good Black Friday sales. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes I, I you know, this Black Friday I may purchase a, a couple things, like mm-hmm. maybe a couple pairs of jeans or like a hoodie. Yeah. But um I don't have anything that I'm like I must purchase. I did see some things in the Barneys yeah. uh that I'm like I gotta get. Yeah. Uh, but I just it's a game of chicken. Am I willing to see if it can get down to like right. 50, 60 percent off and yeah. then my size be there? That's true. I have a family tradition. Now, this is going to sound very white trash. And I think uh-huh. I think maybe pre Luke, I might have mentioned it on the pod. I can't mm-hmm. wait for this. Is uh, the <laughs> is after we eat, um, uh-huh. there's weird like blue laws in North Reading, Massachusetts, which is like a, it has a Walmart that I'm close to where I grew up, right. Um, they open at midnight. They can't do like the early, like mm-hmm. what, if they yeah. can't start the sales at six. Mm-hmm. So we eat, we take a nap, and then we go to the Walmart. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, so white trash. Uh huh. <laughs> and like I'll play, like I'll play by ear when I get there. Mm-hmm. Like I've spent like 500 bucks. One uh-huh. time I bought a game full price just because uh-huh. I, was, I was there <laughs> and I was like, eh, I want Smash Brothers. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but you, you sometimes like I'll just like cop a TV for no reason, but I don't like go. Yeah, I'm not like uh, clothes shopping. Yeah, for Black I'll go to uh, Walmart to see what's good because my mom makes me. But that's also it's also interesting with Black Friday how it's evolved. You know? Yeah, when you know people always were like Black Friday is like Thanksgiving is like a sacred day. Like yeah. Thanksgiving and Christmas were like the two days. Where you're I was like, wondering about that. Yeah, you're like I don't you don't fucking work. You work retail. No. Yeah. No, because it was always Black Friday. It was like five a.m. or, mm-hmm. but then it started getting to the point where they started pushing it up to like midnight, and then yo know, now it's like five p.m. It's like yeah, it's like six. Yeah, yeah my my, uh, my my cousin she worked uh, she worked at Macy's uh, for like their fragrance department. She was telling me she would literally have to go to work at six p.m. Yeah, it's she nice. would have to be yeah she would have to be at Macy's at five six p.m. before, and and I think that's um that's also insane to me too, man. Yeah. Have you guys ever? Well, you've you've done the Walmart stuff, yeah. right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What about you? Luke? No, you... I've never been to. Well, no, there was one time. This is I'm gonna top your white trashness with a little bit more white trashness. Mm. Um, Whoa! We did midnight sale at Old Navy. Oh, <laughs> bang! Hell yeah, dude! Uh, that's where the real fucking bargains are at. The real bargains. I spent thirty five dollars on everything in the store. <laughs> hell yeah! Uh, no, nah, we just yeah. We were preparing for the winter one year, and we we got into <laughs> preparing a store. for the winter yeah. one year. <laughs> well, that's why, like this year, this year I'm looking to get like a nice quilted coverall. I'm gonna rock that. Like you all, need like yeah. seventeen layers. I know you wear so many layers. I know. So you could imagine, I'll just wear. I'm gonna wear. How I'm many wear, wear, How many layers are you wearing right now? Let's see. I got the hoodie on, crew neck sweater, t-shirt underneath, undershirt because you don't want to get all the sweat on it. Right. And your body. And then wife beater. No, yeah, no, that's the undershirt. Oh, that's the yeah. undershirt. So you have four layers on right four now. Four layers on the t-shirt. Yo, I got two your layer layers game on the pants. is nuts. Yeah. <laughs> two layers on the pants. I got uh, uh, long johns underneath these pants because I get cold very easily. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. It might be an iron deficiency. <laughs> I refuse to get it checked boy. out. I, I'm, a, I'm a man, sir. Thank you very much. I'm a man. My feet are adult sizes. I purchased my shoes just like everybody else <laughs> on the sneakers app having a difficult time. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, not going to the store. Not going to the store. But yeah, I'm thinking coveralls this this winter. And uh, my friend let me borrow his jacket that was like oversized for me. I think I'm going to do an oversized winter coat this year. Have to. I think so. That's I the only way to have a winter coat is oversized. It's going to have like an oversized one that drapes all the way down. It looks like I want to look like a Korean gangster this That's winter. Fine. If yeah. you look at somebody with a normal size like bubble coat, yeah. then, like, they look nuts. Like, yeah. You have to have it oversized. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah? I'm trying to. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what if like Black Friday. Yeah. For mm-hmm. me, like going I, I used to never want to go out uh yeah. Black Friday because I used to I've worked in retail. Yeah. I've seen Savages yes. at the forefront. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um I think when I when I moved back to New York in two thousand eleven, when I moved back to Brooklyn in two thousand eleven. Uh I went Black Friday, I forgot what it was uh Cement Threes that came out Black Friday two thousand eleven. And then mm-hmm. I say that was it's pretty rough. Yeah. I remember that, and um, and I remember waking up 
three years later for the uh, Ronnie uh, New Balance. Uh, it was the Brooklyn Bridge in the Central Park. Mm, yeah, and that was 2014. I woke up pretty fucking. I mean, I had I had a, a ticket to to get a pair, but yeah. I remember that was crazy. Um, and I also the the one most recent, and I I think this was the one that made me say, Lawrence, you got you don't fucking go out for Black Friday was the uh, I'm I'm not sure what you, it was 2016, I believe it was the Bape. NMDs, mm-hmm. uh, and okay, and and that was I think 2016, mm-hmm. and it was just a it was just a disgusting experience. <laughs> um, uh-huh. It was uh, they, I mean, dudes like shut down Green Street, Green Ave, or whatever, yeah. uh, the, where the Bape store is. Yeah, and uh, I remember like dudes was fighting, and the cops came, and you know, it was for a Saturday release, but people were out. So the sneakers came out on Saturday, but people like lined up since Thanksgiving. Yeah, for oh, sure, dude. For the Bape and then these because it yeah. was like, oh man, everyone Bape, Bape collab. Yeah. yeah, Bape, you know, and Adidas, and they had NMDs, and um, it was just like it was insane. And I remember police shutting the line down, and I was like, Lawrence, what the fuck are you doing with your <laughs> life, bro? Where you're um out? So now I can't. I don't. I don't do Black Friday anymore. I think you know if you. If you're gonna get a pair of Jordans, or you're gonna get like Black Friday Jordans, or you're gonna get deals, fucking do it online, bro. Yeah, That's online true. is the way to go. Online is the way to go. But sadly, like I said, guys, if you're fucking, if you're listening and you uh, you go on Barney's website and you see something you want for five percent off, I guess. I mean, you know, if <laughs> five, you li- ten, fifteen, twenty. If you play live chicken. In, if you live in a state that doesn't have tax, you know, you just save five percent for something that. If you wait a little bit, maybe play chicken. You can get this shit for like 40, 50 percent off. But I'm sure I'm trying to wait till they be like, "This is everything that we have left. Come get it for eighty five percent off." And you know, and and then it'll be nothing but either size six X's or extra, 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 extra. And then small. that's the coat you need, the six X, the six X. That's, yeah, that's, that's the shirt. It'll be your sleeping bag. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I would like to be walking around in a sleeping bag. Coming through like the <clears throat> wool, yo. Now, <clears throat> next topic, y'all. <laughs> Supreme, man, yeah. they had a they released a brick, man. And I think, oh at, yeah, and I, at this point, not a got, literal brick because that did well. Yeah, the brick did well. <laughs> the brick that was did. not a brick. The brick didn't brick. You gotta start asking yourself, man, who the fuck is paying five hundred dollars for a pair of Air Max sneakers? Because they're still on the website as of now. Oh, really? Uh, they're still on. Uh, for those who don't know what we're talking about, they had a special Italian Air Max uh, collection where there was an all black. Mm-hmm. And then they had the black and the uh, red upper black sole, blue upper black sole, mm-hmm. uh, and they're still online, still online, which is kind of shocking because Supreme usually, uh, I mean, f- would pull the. I felt like Supreme was gonna would have pulled the, the the stock, yeah, because now we're talking, you know, as of when we're recording, this is basically nine hours after the drop. Yeah, so this is Thursday that came out today. And it came out today, and I mean, they're just literally, wow. So I mean, but. You got to realize, once again, um, Air Maxes are nice, Mm -hmm. but $500 for an Air Max is a little... See, this is what's funny about sneaker people, okay, because that's exactly what some people, like, wanted in their mind. I would love a new Air Max Mm -hmm. with some premium material. Mm Mm-hmm. And I, I to get to wear like some Italian leather Air Maxes would be suck mm. sick. Get fucking Supreme on it. It's so fu- five hundred dollars compared to the rest of the resale market is nothing. You can have a nice pair of shoes for five hundred dollars. I understand yeah. that, but I mean, once again, if are you, <clears throat> it's it's really a fine line of all right. Now y'all gouging us for some bullshit, or because if five hundred, I, I don't, I just don't see a market where many people are willing to pay five hundred dollars. Uh, for 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 a pair of Air Max ninety five leathers, uh, there are certain there are certain models that people would spend five hundred dollars for with no right. problem. But I don't think this is it, and I, I just don't see with the color blocking. I just don't feel like this was such a great sneaker that you needed to spend five hundred dollars on. I, I just don't see it. I don't know, man. I don't this see Italian how Italian keychain <laughs> <laughs> making a lot of points at me. I don't see how they didn't bite at the. That because the all right, so basically, the the cost is the resale price, mm. which is scares people away. But there should be no reason why the brain can't go like, oh well, I've paid five hundred dollars for this shoe that is way <laughs> way less poorly constructed. Yeah, <laughs> the material's not as good, and it doesn't have Supreme on it. 
Here's the thing, and this is when this is when you know you're dealing with the brick when the reseller when, re, when resellers aren't touching a product, yeah, because they know, and I think everyone knows that this is a shoe that either you buy for retail or you don't buy at all. Mm-hmm. And I think um, I just don't see, it. like I said, a, a, a pair of sneakers that if it came out as ma- made in Italian, made in, I said made in Italian, uh, Italian made <laughs> or made in Italy, uh, would be the Jordan Two. Yeah. Because that is the shoe that was, you know, it was uh, the OGs were Italian leather or whatever. Yeah, real fancy. Real fancy. Uh, I I can't remember. I remember the Don C two, the beach ones. Right. Were going where the retail was six hundred and fifty bucks, and that came with a stupid fucking hat. Yeah. And <laughs> it, it was a brick. Yeah. <laughs> And <laughs> these are these are also a brick. And Supreme's got to understand. And I don't know. Maybe they just maybe they're just doing this because they're like, we don't give a fuck. We can sell whatever we want. So yeah. you, so you're trying to. This is what I'm gathering from you. <clears throat> High retail will always brick. Low retail will go quickly and resell high. Is that sort of what you're well, saying? I think, I think I think for the most part, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, you, so you got to realize price those at say 300 instead of five. Yeah, then they would they would have did a then lot you better. Think that the hype. I think I don't know if it would be like super, but then yeah, because three hundred, you got to realize there are certain Nike models that people will pay, you know, three hundred dollars for. Yeah, I mean, fuck, I mean, I call, the cost, yeah, yeah. the cost uh, fours were three hundred and fifty dollars, and they and they did well, and then they still had a, but it's also a more coveted model. This right. is just like, I, like I said, Air Maxes aren't. Air Max 95 is a great model. Yeah. I'm not going to sit here and act like it's not one of the all-time classic silhouettes. But when you price it at $500, not many people are going to say, oh, I got a bite on this shit. How can I tell which size is sold out? Or I have to figure out at at, at, a... Because I just want to see some of them. Because if, like, the black nine... Yeah, well, if the size is on... If the size is there, you should be able to add it to the cart. And then... So that means they have all the sizes. Full size Yeah, they have a full size They have a full size... Dude, I thought these were gonna fucking fly. No, really? Yeah, I don't know, man. There's Premium the- fucking Italian leather. Yeah. Air Max ninety five. Supreme. Supreme. Mm-hmm. Red and blue blocking, all black one. Dude, that's a formula for a fucking home run, dude. That's a grand slam. Yeah. On paper. Mm-hmm. That's what the designer said when he was making them. <laughs> Chain, did you make these? <laughs> no, I went. I mean, I'd love to say I made these. Because this isn't a bad shoe. No, it's not a bad shoe, but it will definitely. Oh, wait. The Okay, well, that makes no goddamn sense. Goat is selling them for seven thirty each. That's like, that's just dumb. Well, I mean, you know, Goat, well, you got to also realize, I mean, when Goat is a higher, you know, they sell stuff for higher, but then. After the fees and all oh, that, yeah, now yeah, you, what yeah. are you getting yourself down to six fifty? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm just saying, like you know, oh, around yeah, so yeah. so you do that, and then you if you pay five hundred plus, you live in a state where there's tax shipping. I mean, you're looking at a a five hundred, you know, and seventy dollar purchase, you know, or a five hundred sixty dollar purchase. So yeah. what, how much are you really making here? You're making forty dollars, maybe. There you go. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense to me. I'm kind of blown away by this. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess this is a, a, a perfect example of like how you can't like let them <clears throat> <laughs> let the resale market be the high price point. I have I don't I have many thoughts. I don't have a correct sentence to say to how I feel. To encapsulate how yeah. you feel. I, I have many. Why don't you emotions. try saying licensing for five minutes? <laughs> that'll figure. That'll, that'll work Licen- out. For licensing. Licensing. <laughs> don't. No, you had it already, man. Licensing. You had it. Licensing. 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 I just yeah, gotta say it fast and trick motherfuckers. Yeah, so yeah. So y'all yeah. don't realize, like. Yeah, that's what I do on stage. I just mumble through everything, and everyone's Licensing. like, "I think uh, that we, was funny." Uh, we noticed. <laughs> yeah, we definitely you, noticed. Yeah, it was interesting. I like <laughs> that guy. Was cool. <laughs> he said things. <laughs> Um, do you guys want to talk about these uh, these threes, the animal pack that's coming out? Yeah, we can hop is, on is that. that. Is that an official uh, sneaker that is coming out for? Yeah, real? it's yeah. coming out. There's a date release of it and everything. I just find it kind of weird that you know, 
uh, maybe like what three weeks ago on this podcast, we were talking about animal <laughs> prints on fucking <laughs> wheelies. Are they listening? Maybe. Are you guys listening to us? Are you, Are you stealing your ideas from the sub podcast? I think so. Mm. How I dare you, so. Jordan slash Nike? Did, what did I say? I said a cheetah print, a tiger print, and I mean we had a wolf print in there, which you know Isaiah did throw me for a loop with that one. <laughs> but I said zebra. <laughs> I'm just saying. You mean the things they've basically already done? <laughs> Did they they restole it from? We stole it from them. They stole it from us. Oh, wait, what is this stealing? We yeah. borrowed it. They stole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they, <laughs> we borrowed the idea. You know, they don't own zebras, do they? Do they own I'm, zebras? I don't know. I think so. I think okay. they only own elephant, which okay. they don't even really own. That people just don't want to touch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah, is yeah. so weird. I remember being at Reebok, uh huh, and there was a GL six thousand, great fucking shoe, uh huh. Anyone Google that? There was an elephant print version. Everyone was like, "Are we allowed to do that?" <laughs> wait, wait, it's a texture. What are you talking about? They don't own a texture. They don't own an animal skin. You idiot! What's wrong with you? Exactly. Which is why we used it, and then they stole the idea <laughs> from us. <laughs> um, no, yeah, those are weird. I'm over the animal print, uh, print thing. They yeah. made a strong comeback uh, these past two years because well, they re- released like, f- well, they had the three pack. Yeah, they had the re-release of the Atmos one. Right. Right. And then now they're having a three, and I feel like there's another one that I'm forgetting. Well, there's the Olivia Kims that just that came out, the Black Cats, mm-hmm. uh, and those are like the same, like they're like a kind of fur material. Yeah, I'm cool, guys. You got to chill with the animal print. With the animal print. Keep your pony hair. Keep your fucking whatever that fucking shit is. I want the tiger one. You it, love tigers. Yeah, tigers are great. They're a very powerful animal, and I'm a very <laughs> powerful man. And I need to be with many layers on. With many layers on. That's what keeps a tiger strong is that they have layers. <laughs> I actually, like onions. I actually kind of like these, man. Uh, yeah, I like the tigers, man. I'm not mad at them, but it's like I'm over the animal print. You're like you're killing it. You're doing too much. Actually, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if it's something I would wear, but I can. You know, it's a n- nice. You know, Are those but, like bone eyelets. Those that's kind of cool. The ivory. They're ivory. I don't know. They stole them from. <laughs> we're gonna make. We're gonna use all of this ivory on uh, fucking shoes. Well, here, let me ask you guys this. Yeah. Um, we could segue into. I think because there's a couple broad topics involving Adidas, Kanye, and then we can kind of circle back to Kim. So, I mean, we've covered consistently the uh, overproduction, arguably, of all of the Yeezy products. Right. Mm-hmm. And I guess um, their Adidas third quarter sales are showing a slowdown. Uh huh. In what people are pointing at the Yeezy brand. Yeah. Um, because I guess they only increased one percent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel like any increase is I don't know how like, how often are you gonna increase by like margins. You know what I mean? Like I feel like an increase at any level is good, but people are kind of looking at Kanye saying it's like they're his fault, his right. camp's fault for only increasing one percent. Well, if you look at the growth between well, how many years has he been with Adidas now? Three, four years? Yeah, four. Uh, no, uh, yeah, like almost five. Almost, almost close five. to almost five, five. Yeah. So, well, no, he's, yeah, no, 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 no. Because if if November around November early late twenty fourteen is when he went to Adidas, and now we're in twenty nineteen, so we're at like five okay, years. Yeah. Five so, years. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, all right, f- yeah, yeah, five. Wow, mm-hmm. Jesus, time flies. Fucking Christ. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know. Um. So if we look at the first couple of years, you know, they had a, a very good start, which is why they're so, you know, it makes sense why they would be so nervous now, you know. Uh, production has, because production still increases, but your profit margin is not increasing as well. So it's just like you're just, you're uh, as of before, you were printing money. Now you're just like, you're just printing. It's just like you're, you're not making, making shoes. You're just making shoes at this mm-hmm. point, you know. Um, which you know, in fairness, Kanye said he wanted to do that. He wanted no, it's to true. print shoes. That's what he, he wanted to make shoes for people. Uh, he didn't want to like, you know, just make money all the time. I mean, he did want to make money, but not. I don't think the growth is what. If anything, this proves that his method works. I mean, it. it yeah, it shows a couple things. It, the one thing is that like you know they're every, they're in everyone's <laughs> house now. Yeah, and they're still making a profit. So that's the one thing. Right. Um. The other thing is that, because I don't know if you guys saw this too, remember how we were talking about the Croc runners, the Yeezy Crocs or whatever? Yes. And we've been constantly, Adidas being one of the pioneers of like the sustainability thing, I guess part of like those Croc runners is made out of algae now. I guess he like, Ooh. I didn't get to see the clip, but I, I was reading an article that they said that part of the Croc, I don't know how what, much the percentage or um, if it, even if it's at all or all the other like Croc models that he's going to come out with, right. they have algae in them. So I think they're what they're trying to do is they're now they're going to go into a sustainable route. Okay. okay. Where I think to reduce the cost, which Even is maybe further. allowing, he probably had some weird plan. He was like, "Yo, look, dog, 
Let's just give him all the shoes, and I'll make shoes out of algae. And everyone's like, what the fuck? What the fuck uh-huh. are you talking about? Seaweed. Which is a very Kanye yeah. thing to present. Be like, all right, we go, we go sell all the shoes to everybody. And Adidas is like, so we're only going to make like a couple thousand of each. Yeah. No, no, no. We're going to make a hundred thousand of, of each everything. one. And, uh, and, and then I'm going to make them out of algae and save us money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why don't you start with the algae? No, no, no. Nobody's going to be on board with algae at the front. You're not listening. No. You guys have to understand, I'm going to rebrand myself yeah. in 2019 to love Jesus again. And then that's when everyone's going to go like, oh, algae is like the holy seawater. And then everyone's like, Kanye, what are you talking about? And then he walked out of the room, and now here we are. And now here we are. <laughs> and now we can't for, he can't future gaze any further. <laughs> the fake Kanye meetings are so funny. Fake Kanye meetings are the, the best meetings. The fake Kanye meetings are fire. <laughs> We need to play a game on this podcast, fake Kanye <laughs> meeting or real Kanye meeting, <laughs> very soon. Uh, is this, uh, give me a, give me a uh, fruit. Uh, mango. All right, give me a product category. Product category. Does any, the first thing that comes to your head, like a piece of item, like a clothing item. Jeans. Jeans. All right, yo, so Adidas. <laughs> this is what we about to do. We're going to corner the denim market with all the Adidas jeans, Right. And then after that, I'm going to go, yo, I'm going to throw this mango pocket on it. Everyone's going to go, yo, that's crazy. And everyone's going to buy that. We're going to upsell it. And then eventually we're going to re-downsell it. And then I'm going to make the whole pan out of mango. And then he just walks out. And the dude's just like, are we supposed to do this? And they're sweating. <laughs> <laughs> they're sweating. Did we make the right decision? Fucking... <laughs> what did Nike either? know that we didn't? What did they oh, know? He must have been nuts at Nike. Yeah. Just yeah, thinking sure. about like how I... demanding he must have been. That shit is crazy, dude. I agree. I I want to make <sighs> now I want seaweed moccasins. Seaweed mocks? Seaweed moccasins sound like Jerry Lorenzo. Yeah. You get seaweed. Yeah. <laughs> it's, imagine yeah. they're just assigning fucking different types of like random trash yeah, yeah, yeah. to people. Like, Alright, you get all the seaweed trash. Kanye, you called mango. Yeah. Nigo, you can have coral. <laughs> then Kanye's like, what if we make him out of mango jewel <laughs> Mangoes. <laughs> yeah, but everyone's in this jewel <laughs> thing. The kids be vaping. <laughs> mangoes only. Real mangoes only. <laughs> she makes it out of jewel mango pots. I bet, I bet you could make a, a, a shoe out of mango jewel pots. And we, all, we don't care about Kim owning part of Yeezy or starting her own uh, Yeah, because law firm, what right? does it have to do... With my sneakers. I don't know. What does it have know. to do with my 500s, with my soft vision? <laughs> does my soft vision reach other parts of the room now? <laughs> do I get 350s in a soft vision colorway? I guess no one cares, right? Nobody really cares. No one cares about soft no one was. Vision. I wasn't surprised when I read it. No one's surprised. No one cares. Nobody don't cares. don't fuck up the creative process, Kim, you fucking biatch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa I'm sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Jeez, my bad. Oh, come on, man. I like Kim. She seems nice. I mean... <laughs> Jesus, Bape is and Uggs are re-releasing Lil Wayne's collection. Yeah, the Bape Ugg uh, thing they're re-releasing. How it. exciting! What an exciting time to be alive. We also don't care about this, right? It's a collab that no one cared about originally. Mm-hmm. Damn, dude, Ugg is really trying. Yeah, trying hard. You know, they tried with Brady and tainted New England because all the all the rest of the country was like, "Oh, you guys like Uggs?" We're yeah, like, no, we don't. Just Tom. Just Tom Brady, yeah. baby. Tainted Boston for a little bit, and then um, yeah, now they got Little Wayne wearing fucking furry babes. This mm-hmm. I can't see anybody wearing those except white women that go to Northeastern. Oh, you mean me and Lawrence's target demographic, <laughs> or <laughs> who like yoga and kombucha? Wait, did, of course they did. Do. In in upstate New York, did they have the Han Solo outfit for the gr- the white girls in college? What's the Han Solo? Uh, Han Solo outfit was. I think I know what it is. Th- this is mostly the Northeastern girls. So Northeastern University uh-huh. was by Mass Art. They would wear the um, khaki Uggs, uh-huh. the leggings. Yes. Khaki Uggs, leggings. Then they would have like a like a long sleeve or like a hoodie, crew neck or whatever. Uh-huh. And then they would throw like the khaki vest on it. Ooh. And they were so they all looked like Han Solo. No, I don't dude. Know that. No, girls in Boston were running around, fucking ug all over them, just, mm-hmm. just like, looking like Han Solo here, trying to get an education. Yeah, dude, I suck your cock for a day. Yeah. I don't know. That's your impression of a Boston girl. That's what they sound like to me. That's what a Boston woman sounds like. <laughs> Nails too. on a chalkboard. <laughs> 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 
Don't let me suck your dick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just doing Bobby Kelly. They, they're all Bobby <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> all the girls have, in Boston sound like Bobby Kelly. Yeah, you're not you're not from Boston, so you don't have that accent. But just let me know. Dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, th- you no really that that was just a thing in Boston. No, th- I think that was just a thing in Boston. A uh, lot of the girls uh, in New York that I knew in college would wear. Um, let's see, what would they wear? They wear jeans, mm-hmm. some sort of uh, some sort of sneaker, a Jordan one or an or, or, uh, an Air Force one. That was usually what was going on there. Yes, maybe some boots, um, a vest, a scarf, and a thermal, and that was what they would wear for the winter. Oh. Mm. And then, like, some ridiculously large coat. They had the answer the whole time, man. <laughs> the large coat? <laughs> they had the answer. I should be I should be modeling my entire outfits off of women, because that's clearly the same. We're in the same temperature range. And the same uh, size rack. <laughs> <laughs> it's not wrong. It's You're not wrong. What am I supposed so, to say to that? Can we talk about uh, the intern at Off White who's probably going to get fired or Hell has yeah. been fired already yeah. for the mistake that they made this week? Did you guys see the no, uh, the Instagram post? No, where uh, Nick Young was uh, wearing. Uh, oh, and they said it was LeBron. And yeah, and, uh, Nick Young, uh, Off White said uh, King James wearing <laughs> Off White uh, Air Force One MCA <laughs> University Blue, and it was a. It was Nick fucking Young from uh, Swaggy P. Swaggy P. <laughs> and, Swaggy uh, P does not deserve that disrespect. <laughs> uh, and LeBron was like, man, that ain't me. Y'all must be in L.A. on that. Ooh, we. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, and Nick Young was on some, you know, look, man, it feels good to be the king. Man. <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't know if that guy got fired. I don't think. I, I think, mean, so. I think you know, he got definitely got reprimanded. He's definitely. on oh, thin yeah. ice. Definitely. Reprimanded and thin ice, yeah. yeah. Yeah, thin ice, man. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's something simple, bro. Don't fuck, the, you know. Don't get your your black celebrities confused, man. No, man, that's a that's a cardinal sin. Cardinal sin, baby. That's a cardinal sin. White intern too. You think he was white? Of course, of course. Damn, dude. Of course. Yeah, I don't like. You know, you think a black dude's really gonna? Fuck you think him Asians are gonna fuck that up? Yeah. I don't know. No way. I man. guess I'll take this on. <laughs> I'll take I'll take this L for my people. Yeah. Yeah, your people definitely. This is probably some young intern kid who yeah. doesn't fucking know what he's doing. Also, we, we, who are we kidding? Virgil doesn't hire. Uh, people of color. Yeah, <laughs> he, he did go through that whole thing where everyone's like, "How come you're not hiring black people?" It's off white for a reason, guys. <laughs> Ooh, great shit, man. I'm the cool. off. They're the white. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the off. They're the white. <laughs> He's got those uh, those Vapor Street or uh, what are those? Uh... Oh yeah, yeah. The that whole new Nike collection that is super heavy branded. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. What was it called? Vapor Street. The Vapor Streets. Ooh, Vapor, Vapor Street Max. Streets. They sound powerful. Mm. Oh, they are not powerful. <laughs> this is, that shit it goes under the, another category of like good, bad design. And I hate how this is getting so popular. Are they releasing November 14th? They're releasing, uh, what, 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 what is this? Next weekend. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If, if I could make one complaint, the typography on Vapor Street is not primo. Let me see. It's not the Helvetica? It's, oh, yeah. It's just. They're getting lazy with how they put the type I, on the yep, shoes. They're getting real lazy. They're getting real lazy because he's asking for more complicated Fucking models to Virgil's do it on. getting real cocky over here. I don't know if I like it. And they're like, you know, we can't just like silk screen on the shoe after we make it. We're supposed to do it before we construct it. No, I'm the off. You're the white. You listen to me. You fucking figure this out, okay? You listen to me. I'm off. You're about to be on top of figuring this out for me. The off. Of the white. Of the white. <laughs> of the white. Put that in quotation marks, bitch. <laughs> Angry Virgil is also a funny character to think about. <laughs> yeah, it's a hilarious character that only <laughs> our listeners will understand. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, which color way are we going, guys? Because one of these is going to pop. Them. One no. of these is going to pop. Well, look. See, this is the weird thing. If okay. those pop and these Supreme fucking 95s don't. Yeah. 95, is that what they were? It's, yeah, Air Max 95s. Yeah. yeah, if those not... Though, I, I'm... I still can't. <laughs> All right. why, why can't you figure out why why these were pop before? Because the fucking retail on these are one hundred and ninety dollars. No, yeah. I get it. I just have a I have many. Feelings. Bro, not everyone is out here trying to spend five hundred dollars on a pair of fucking 
leather yeah. They'll shoe. spend five hundred dollars on those fucking things. Yeah, they will, but they won't buy them at. They'll have the option to buy them at one ninety if they're not if they're smart. They'll try. Yeah, they'll try. They'll get the L. I wonder who's gonna fight their family in Disneyland uh, wearing these shits like that. <laughs> did and fucking. Uh, I hope so. I I don't know who. Oh, but. dude, Thanksgiving is gonna be so funny now because like because streetwear is so mainstream. I didn't even think about this till right now. Yeah, streetwear is so mainstream, and so many people have like been trying to buy shit like these these weird Virgil shoes. Yeah, so it's just like it, trying to like explain to your family like why a bread tie is cool on your shoes. <laughs> Bro, I think you dress down for Thanksgiving, man. Yeah, you dress down for wait, Thanksgiving. Wait, you don't come with the ill drip? I do not flex for my family. You don't mm. flex with a fam? No, we're going to Old Navy after. Why would I flex? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine me trying to flex in Walmart with my mom on Black Friday. That would be so funny. You should <laughs> do it. Like my, my... Wear all of your fly shit <laughs> to the Walmart and then be like, how much is this TV? And then have to go into your phone and frantically move money around <laughs> when you clearly have an. Yo, do you guys accept Bitcoin out. still? Do you, you never it? accepted it. Never, huh? <laughs> uh, these uh, these light blue and green ones are calling to me, man. I think. Well, no, those aren't. The pink and blacks might be the ones that'll go for more. Do look. Did you look at the clothing? Did I look at the clothing? No, I don't want to upset myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. no, it's track stuff. It's like not stuff you and I wouldn't buy. But I want to talk about like how it's like. Good but bad. Okay, athlete in progress collection. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Interesting, interesting. Okay, seeing a lot of yellow. Yeah, a lot of yellow. A lot of yellow. I'm kind of into that. That's good. Their branding is all over the place. Like Off White's branding is real terrible. Well, what's the yeah? What's the end goal? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Off White at this the point. iconography is strong, right? Mm -hmm. But the, just the placement of all the shit and it's like not cohesive. Mm -hmm. Is not cohesive like the new cool thing? Um, Having something look all over the place is that? I think that's where yeah. that's where we're at right it's now. It's been it's been that way for it's slowly. I mean, yeah, we've been shitting on way. like a lot of the merch that's come out lately, where it looks like a five year old look drew with a Pop, crayon. Look at Pablo. Look at the per Pablo merch. Right? Do you remember that? Yeah, the it graphics, had the arc. It had all the, um, over the place. The font was Grandmaster Flash, I think. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was like the old timey kind of font, right? Mm. And it was like all the way around. Yeah, it had the arc. Uh, even the Life of Pablo album itself had like this kind of mm. mishmash kind of thing going on to it. Um, you look at uh, who who else? So you're putting the trigger on Life of Pablo for this art style. I think it's it's one of the factors because if you look at like if you look at um, what's another thing that kind of dropped during that time? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, Cozy tapes two. Cozy Tapes 2. Oh, and it had like the cloudy. Kind of cloud. Yeah, the, the original. Even like the sound was a little bit like muddled and all over the place when you look at like the, the video for, um, yeah, that's for true. Yamborghini mm -hmm. and, High. And Tyler, the creator's, uh, fuck, what album was that? He, it was like the school picture one? Uh, Wolf. Was it Wolf? It, it was, was called Wolf. Wolf was earlier. The hat was like on top of the other picture of him in the corner. Exactly. Mm. It's like there's a Such kind of good bad design. I think it started as like kind of like well with Tyler and guys like that and and Rocky it always kind of like starts off as kind of jokes, right? Kind it's, of, yeah. It's kind of, and now that high fashion has kind of taken it and turned it into like this serious movement mm -hmm. kind of thing, which I kind of find funny in its own right, you know? Right. Cuz there was that was always the joke when it, when you watch like a I remember when I watched the Lamborghini High the the video for it. The main joke that was going around was like, the hood hey, by air. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, it was that. No, it was the uh, it was. Oh, uh, what did the edit like? They did they just go up to the editing team and go, which, you know, which uh, which effects would you like on this video? And then, they oh, go, yeah, 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 all of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, what? All of them. Yeah, because that, that, I think that's like kind of the thing that we're trying to go. Oh, for, no. Right? And that's the video. He was like, yo, fuck hood by air. Fuck Ben Trill. Was it? I think. Yeah, so. that was. Yeah, that was it. Because because they got on the map because he was wearing them. Right. And then that's the, yeah, then they didn't they give him any him. credit or anything. Mm -hmm. They didn't like shout him out, be like, yo, thanks, Rocky. And then, yeah, that was the video that mm -hmm. he was like, yo, fuck those brands. Yeah. This is a crazy music video. Also, yeah. yeah, this is insanity. This, yeah, we wouldn't wear any of this because this is all women's wear. Yeah, it's all women's wear. But also, it's like, it's just all over the place. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not saying the placement of each thing is bad because, like, that, everything looks fine. It's just like nothing correlates, nothing looks like it's supposed to go together. Hmm. The proportions of all the things is like off. Like you have that hard vert. I mean, I'm sorry for the audio listeners, but you, if you look at the collection, this one black piece we're looking at, the little icon on the top or like the right yeah. hit is like vertical, and the other one is like super horizontal. 
And then, like, I why does he have, like, the Friends logo on his <laughs> tank top? It's uh-huh. like... And then there's the Nike symbol all the way across the off-white little uh That's actually belt. cool. I like the way he did that with the belt, because they sell those belts, and just to put the check on it... That's I, well, a, I think that's, that's what it is. It's co-branded. advertisement for all the other products that feature these logos. <laughs> yeah, is that what I you legitimately think so? Think so. It's guess. just mm-hmm. like, if you put them all on one thing... Everybody goes, oh, I like that one a lot. I wish that was on a thing. And then you'll find it on a thing in a couple months. I guess. It's some sort of weird subliminal advertisement thing that I'm trying, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm kind of stretching to believe in because, you know, I mean, you can't just like make all this, it's just all going to make sense somehow. It, it, it will. <laughs> Eventually. Or he'll just come out with like a blanket statement like, nah, it was up for interpretation. Like the shoes. <laughs> Take those shoelaces and put them on another shoe. It's, it's mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. <laughs> Commercial stakes. We got another collab to talk about, guys. Uh, Adidas one? and Prada. Oh. Yeah, that's, I think... Uh, well, this is just like early announcements, right? Yeah, this is just early announcements. They had a teaser photo of just like two Adidas and a Prada bag. Who's uh, who's had a Prada right now? Um, unclear. Uh-huh. And this is an interesting uh, juxtaposition, uh, juxtaposition uh-huh. to talk with along with the supreme stuff because that supreme shoe mm-hmm. italian mm-hmm. leather quality it's probably the adidas thing is probably going to be very similar mm-hmm. in retail in execution in material yeah you said who's the the head of the creative director of prada Muccia prada is the head designer oh uh Muccia. yes Muccia. Okay. Come eat the little meatballs. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> so what is she doing over there, man? <laughs> so we got yeah. So we got this Adidas Prada collab, man. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be the same thing as the Supreme thing that just happened. You think it's gonna be over like some somehow nah, overpriced? They, they said there's it. gonna be like a three hundred and fifty dollar uh, sneaker or some shit. I saw. I heard the the rumors. Were. I don't okay. think they're gonna be as dumb as Supreme because well, Supreme's getting cocky. I think that's what it is. Supreme's like people will drop five hundred on these leather shoes, and uh, Prada's like well, fucking. I don't. We're working with Adidas. Imagine right being now. the guy who just like took so many L's his entire life with Supreme. He's like, you know what, dude? I want these Air Maxes. I'm just gonna go buy them resell. <laughs> I'm not even gonna fucking try. Fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> he gets them on Goat for seven fifty. He's like, dude, finally, finally, finally I got my fucking shit. Got and then he goes shit. to Supreme site. Ah, I want to see the sold out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the size is still there. You wish. <laughs> Uh, no, but that's a big move. I think that this is, uh, if I'm remembering correctly, no, because I guess Chanel, Chanel did a Reebok Pump Fury. Chanel's done a couple of shoes with other people, but like, there's not many two crossover in the higher end stuff with these lifestyle brands like that. Yeah, well, you had a Versace H and M collection that they've been doing. Versace also collabed with Concepts, the store, to do their chain reaction shoe, which was right. the two chain shoe. Mm-hmm. But that's sort of like a reversal because it's like a boutique, going, a high-end boutique going with a high-end brand. It's not mm. like a lifestyle brand like Adidas. That's cool, man. I like how they're breaking that barrier. Yeah, man. So it's, uh, you know, I can remember dudes wearing Prada's, uh, the Prada America's Cup mm-hmm. all throughout the early 2000s. Uh-huh. Man, oh, my God. If you had a funeral to go to, <laughs> a job interview, a first date, a bar mitzvah, like you wanted to impress them, you were wearing your Prada America Cups. Yeah, man. I wonder if, if dudes still wear those, though. You know, Prada, the American cups. They had the the cloud busts last year that look like legitimately look like Gundam shoes. Uh, <laughs> those yeah. shoes look insane. The cloud bust thunders. Look at these things. These are so dumb. I want a pair for no reason whatsoever. They're like nine hundred dollars. What's going on with these? Those stink. No, they're those robot look like shoes. shoes. They're robot shoes, man. No, fuck that. What about the blue? The blue's nice. No, blue stinks. <laughs> the white's nice. White stinks. Yellow's nice. Yellow Look at the stinks. yellow. No. I, w- I want a pair of Prada America Cup again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I, st- I listen, man. I still have my, I mean, I don't have my original uh, Prada. I had the black high top pair. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Still, man, to this day, man, one of the the... Best, I got hated on my teacher in college. We used to hate on the kids who Oh, wore you Prada. told us this story. I did? Yeah, yeah. My teacher was like, I got the same sneakers as you. Bro. Yeah. Oh, shit. Where the fuck you getting your money from, you drug dealer? <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm just a kid from New York who... No. no I'm no. the off, you're the white. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a no. kid from... No. 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 Yeah, we used to make fun of the kids in our school who wore Prada's. Why? Because um, we're broke. That's why. 
Oh, my bad. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. we're broke. We made fun of the kids who had money because as a defense mechanism. Yeah, and because there weren't that's that a many sick of defense them. mechanism. It's a fucking... yo. You look mad fly. No, he didn't look fly though. He just <laughs> he was one of those kids who just spent all his money on shoes. Yo, you got mad money. Mm-hmm. You got mad money and don't know how to use it. Yeah, Prada's man. I got. I don't know where the pics at, but yeah, I got it somewhere. Yeah, it was fucking great times. It man. was good times, huh? Prada American Cop, man. Hey, wait, can you explain what the fuck happened with Antonio Brown as our football correspondent? I, yeah. You know, I kind of was uh, looking at it a little bit. Uh, I mean, I think what it is is the guy is just fucking miserable. He misses the NFL. Yeah. And he's uh, he's well now. He, I think he's definitely, uh, you know, I'm not a psychologist or whatever, but he's got some type of bipolar disorder to me. And, um, and it's just interesting because he's going through it, man. Yeah, I mean, he just saw... How to protest the NFL correctly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then did not do any of that. He li- like literally was like, who the fuck is Kaepernick? And mm-hmm. then just went on a rant. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. He was like, no, 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 I got this guy. If any athlete needs to protest now, it's you know Jeremy exactly Lin. what you need to do. <laughs> it's Jeremy Lin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why? He's been, uh, he's out here killing in the Chinese basketball league. Well, tell him to start kneeling, dude. Jesus <laughs> Fucking, Christ. He's killing in the Chinese basketball league. He needs to make his way back over to America and be like, look, y'all were wrong. Now you're just racist against Asians. Look, I understand that <laughs> Jerry, Malin, Jerry Malin is like all you have. He's all we have, man. but he's gone now. <laughs> no, he's not. He'll be back. He won't be back. He scored twenty five and nine, dude. Twenty five and nine. nine <laughs> Nothing like America's cups right here. <laughs> oh, that's a nasty Fitbit. Oh. Look at that, <laughs> yo. Those jeans are fucking huge. Damn. huge. Wow. Yeah, that was that was fucking Prada American cups, man. Two thousand five, bro. Wow. Little did we know that man would grow up to be a king. <laughs> Fucking God, but no, um, yeah, no, no. I don't know what's going on with AB, but uh, I think he like he's like like posting shit on social media and then deleting it. Yeah, posting, deleting, and that's like a classic. Like the motherfucker's bored. He's going through whatever shit he's going through, and it's not a good look. No, it's not a good look. Mm-mm. It's not a good look for my patriot. You know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. He's a patriot. And it, uh, he's a patriot. We're gonna. Close it out. Yeah. Oh yeah. What What are we at? Uh, f- I don't know. I don't want to include that fucking first run around of. Go Go check real quick. Real loosey goosey. This app. You know. Well, that's because you made it fucking loosey goosey. You didn't. You could have just wrote it down on a piece of paper, and instead you. Real loosey goosey. A little too loosey goosey. We're real loosey goosey here. We're a bunch of silly boys. Silly silly boys. Okay. Um, here we can talk about this. Yeah, wow. Reebok is phasing out their Delta logo, and now I, I don't know if you guys knew this, but so they bailed on the Vector a while ago uh-huh. when they got on CrossFit. I think what is was, what does bailed on the Vector mean? No, yeah. bailed on the Delta. Yeah, okay, they're they're coming back to the dropped R and Vector branding. So the, oh. the Reebok like '90s shit that we all know and respect out of the Reebok shit, yeah, um, is coming back stronger finally, and they're dropping that little Delta triangle thing they had. I don't, even, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I think need to do 73% of our listeners. <laughs> so the Delta is this thingy. Okay. No, that's the Vector. That's the Vector. Yeah. See, here we go. See, here we go. Yeah, this is a, no one knows what no the one, fuck no you're talking Chris, about, man. The this fuck, is the this is the this is the vector. This is the No, that's the yeah, that's the Vector. That's, or the Delta. This little Delta thing. This yeah. is the triangle. Some sort of triangle. They tried situation. to rebrand and become more of an athletic company. They look like a, they look like and band. They really yeah. bailed on it now. They're they like, yeah, like we don't. They're gonna scratch that from the fucking history books. Yeah, but that's like that's how we knew Reebok yeah, as bro. kids with the vector thingy. Okay, well, you know, uh, listeners, you now have something to Google the difference between the Delta and the Vector. Um, they know what the Vector is. They don't know they what's do. called the Vector. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah, that's true. The Vector is Reebok swoosh. Uh huh. And Polo is introducing QR codes. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that shit. That shit is fire. Mm-hmm. They're going to start introducing QR codes in all of their labels to for a legit check. Okay. Oh, that that's, is yeah, sick. that's smart. Yeah. That is smart. That, that is, is smart. super that smart. Is a very I don't know why all brands don't do this. Because they, you know, there's a very high market on fake sneakers. Mm-hmm. That's why. Uh, I don't know, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. It doesn't make any sense. No, because actually, Nike, Nike has like a little... Not full QR code, but they have a little code thing in their labels in the sneaker. Mm-hmm. Right. If you just made a QR code saying like, "Yo, this is legit," yeah, goes right to Nike's website. Oh, yeah. Official yeah, Nike, yeah, yeah. like 
It could be on all of them. Mm-hmm. Have yeah. a little thing you scan, goes mm-hmm. right to Nike.com, where, whatever brand.com, it goes, yeah, this is legit. But that's just another step for people to fake. I think there's a way for them to not have, like, I don't because those are super specific. Okay, but now we're just bringing IT people into the fakes in the world of fakes. They're already here, man. They made the bots. That's true. They did make the bots. They can also there can there can be the good guy ITs that make all the good QR codes. Uh huh. White hats and black hat hackers. I mean, nothing's foolproof. Right. But I thought that was sick. Yeah. yeah. yeah Especially like it's no, it's definitely a step forward. It's just step in the right direction. Now, I, I mean, they're not getting fucking. Polo's not getting ripped off as much as like any other of these hype brands that are going around, but Polo's yeah. been along for a long time. There's a lot of counterfeit Polos. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's counterfeit everything, bro. But count- Polo's definitely count- one of that more it's heavily. There, yeah. It's also one of the easier ones to counterfeit, too, because it's like simple pieces. Mm-hmm. They're just strong, solid pieces. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So it's like the fact that they're doing that. I don't know why people haven't thought of this before. I think it's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like it, too, man. Do you have any closing thoughts? No, I don't think so. Go on the Discord. Yeah, go to the Discord. Oh, uh, Trey Hill episode. Is oh, up. yeah. Bonus episode is live on our Patreon, so if you want to listen to that, go to that. Um, week uh, Monthly show? Monthly show. Uh, our first one is November 26th at the Village Lantern. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sold out Tuesdays at 8 o'clock. We're mm-hmm. going to be the last Tuesday every month at 8, I so think. fucking come out, and uh, there's going to be $4 Rata Burgers. Yeah. So we got a beer deal. It's going to be a good time. It's Us three, gonna, we're going to be there. Previous guests of the show. Isaiah will be there. Mm-hmm. Isaiah, yeah, we, we got, Malia. We got some people coming, yeah, we got some people. We got some people. We got yeah, some man. people, baby. Awesome. At Not That Cheney, at Trevisus, at LZD325, at Sub Podcast NYC, uh, Sub Sub Podcast NYC at gmail.com. You can email us. Uh, if you go on the Instagram, there's also a phone number you can leave us a voicemail at or text. Uh, and then Discord. I think that's it. That's it. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Royce is texting me. Where you at? No more. All right, man. Yeah, in a second.